Did the RCMP announce Damien Sanderson and Miles Sanderson were shot after they refused to surrender to them? And did police find Antifa flags in their vehicle? No, that's not true. As of August 5, 2022 the suspects of the August 4, 2022 stabbing that left 10 people dead in the James Smith Cree Nation in Saskatchewan remain on the loose and police are still looking for them. Regrettably the only real part of the story is that the stabbings took place. The false death announcement and claimed Antifa links appeared in an article published by the Vancouver Times on September 4, 2022 titled, RCMP. Suspects are dead after mass stabbing in James Smith Cree Nation, which opened, quote, The two suspects wanted in an ideologically motivated left-wing terrorist attack are now dead, according to sources in the RCMP. Damien Sanderson and Miles Sanderson were shot after refusing to surrender to the RCMP. Police suspect that the brothers were involved with violent terrorist group Antifa, finding Antifa flags and communist literature in their vehicle. The shooting occurred on the outskirts of Saskatoon. End quote. The story linked to a CBC article, as its source but that article only confirmed the suspects were still on the loose. Quote. Manhunt continues for two suspects after Sask. Stabbings leave 10 dead. 15 hospitalized RCMP alert says to watch for black SUV with Sask. License plate 119 MPI in Manitoba. Alberta also RCMP are searching for Damien Sanderson, Left, and Miles Sanderson. Damien is described as 5 feet 7 inches tall, about 155 pounds, with black hair and brown eyes. Police say Miles is 6 feet and 1 inch tall, about 240 pounds, with black hair and brown eyes. RCMP, RCMP have issued a dangerous persons alert across Saskatchewan, Alberta and Manitoba after multiple people were stabbed early Sunday morning in James Smith Cree Nation and the nearby village of Weldon, Sask. In a news conference at 3.40 p.m. Central Standard Time, police confirmed 10 people are dead and at least 15 people have been hospitalized, following a stabbing spree in 13 different locations. End quote. Local police confirmed on Twitter they are still searching for the men. Quote. The At Regina Police continue to work collaboratively with our partners at RCMPSK on this investigation that started this morning on James Smith Cree Nation. Suspects have not been located. An active, focused investigation will continue until they are located and taken into custody. Pick.twitter.com slash 8M91 Osiniu, Chief Evan Bray, at Avange Bray, September 5, 2022 end quote. The Vancouver Times is a website that has published several made-up stories in the past, claiming on its, about, page, to be a satirical publication, despite the complete lack of any discernible humor on the site, quote. About Us Vancouver Times is the most trusted source for satire on the West Coast. We write satirical stories about issues that affect conservatives. End quote. The site contains a mix of articles copied from other sites and made-up stories often hoaxes about the death or arrest of people who were recently in the news. The made-up stories usually contain embedded tweets or links to articles from real news organizations to appear more credible. Another common theme of the made-up stories is that many of them claim there is some sort of media blackout in effect to explain the fact that the site is the only outlet reporting certain details.